All right, today we're gonna do a quick uh, Cajun chickpea pasta. Most of my prep already done. We have some pre-sliced red onions, green peppers. We'll be using some bow tie pasta. We'll be using raw cashews for the cashew cream or the pasta cream sauce. And we have some spices that we'll have listed in the description, of course. And let's get to it. Let's get our chickpeas rinsed and drained. And I'm gonna keep that aquafaba so I can make me some more homemade vegan mayonnaise. Yeah. And that's all the prep that we have. We'll be adding mushrooms as well. So let's get it started. We have our pan heated up. We're going to put a dry saute on the mushrooms. And I'm using white mushrooms. That need to be cooked up. what we want to see. Get that liquid sauteed out of those bush rings. And we can go ahead and get our pasta water on. Get some salted boiling water going. And we'll be cooking that pasta according to the instructions on the box. Oil. About two 
tablespoons of avocado oil. Onions and peppers in there. However much you like, or not at all. By the time the pasta is done, we should be done. That's, that's the goal. That's what you call a quick pasta. table fork of minced garlic. <laughs> I'm going to add our can of chickpeas that has been rinsed and drained. Pasta water is ready, so we're going to go ahead and add our bow tie pasta. And this is like a half box of bow tie pasta. Alexa, set timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes. 49. All right, that's our timer. We got to get it done in 11 minutes, everything. We're going to add our spices and I'm going to try to give you measurements, but I'm pretty much dying this. Let's go. We got our garlic powder. I'm using a teaspoon. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Smoke for the paprika. Teaspoon. Teaspoon of cumin. Half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Remember I said this is Cajun. So we want a little spice on it. You don't want any spice, leave out the cayenne. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Pinch of salt. Yes, yes, that's our. Those are the spices. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. 
bring those toasted up a little bit and then we're gonna put our cashew cream sauce together. Okay, I'm gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes to this as well. And then we're gonna take this off of the eye just to get our sauce ready. We got eight minutes on the pasta. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're gonna take this off of the heat. Just for a moment. All right, we're gonna be using the same spices for our cashew cream. Raw cashews. I'm going to use about what is this, a half a cup of raw cashews. That should do it. Same seasonings. We're going to use our paprika. But we're going to go for probably what not a teaspoon we need those small ones i don't even think i want to go with a half a teaspoon we're going to do probably one fourth teaspoon let's do one fourth teaspoon of the, this is smoked paprika smoke got to do the same for the garlic powder the cumin salt and we're going small because we already got seasoning on the chickpeas and vegetables and cayenne can't forget the cayenne might not even need to add cayenne with all the cayenne we add, added already but we're going to do a little skadoosh of cayenne and then we want to add some nutritional yeast that's the difference. We're adding nutritional yeast in the cashew cream sauce. Give us our cheesy, savory flavor. This will give us some kind of cheesy flavor, you know. With pasta, you gotta have some kind of cheesy flavor. And we're gonna do probably a lot. <laughs> we want a lot of that, and yeah. So, what is that? About uh, two tablespoons, I'll say probably two tablespoons. Maybe. All right, and then we're going to use some non dairy milk. I'm using soy milk. You use whatever you have on hand. You can also use water too if you want. I just think the, the, the milk will make it more creamy. And we're going to go about here <laughs> about there I don't know how much that is maybe a cup of milk maybe I don't know that's what we're doing right there and we're just going to get that blended all up smoothly and that will be our cashew cream and we got one minute one minute to go we think we can do it. Think we can make it happen.
good and creamy. Cashews make such a good creamy sauce. It'll thicken up as we cook it. Heat it up. Let's get it. Alexa, stop. Pasta is ready. We're just going to get that drained and ready to put in the pan with the rest of the ingredients. Hey. We got our pot back on. I'm going to turn it down some to about medium low. I'm going to add our cashew cream. Get that heated up and through and through. sure you check your sauce, make sure the flavors are on point. Mmm. Good and spicy. Usually you're supposed to use unsweetened milk, but I did not. And I like what it's doing. I like what it's bringing. Mmm-hmm. And of course, you know, we got to add some greens to this thing. We got to add some greens to this thing. Go ahead and add me some spinach. Get a handful of that in there. Like so. And all we have to do is heat that sauce up. We're going to go ahead and add our pasta. right on back in there. Get those greens wilted down. May need to add some more milk because this cream is getting very thick. Very thick. Very thick. Very creamy. That's what that cashew cream do. It gets thick. It gets thick. Did I put too much spinach in there? No, there you go. It's, it's getting there. It's taking a little bit, but it's getting there. Get them greens in there. Get them greens in there. my second time making this. It was pretty good the first time. It was pretty good the first time. I was like, mmm. That turned out pretty well there. I'm going to add some more milk to this. This is pretty thick. So get it to however you like it. If it's not too thick for you, keep it like that. I just wanted it a little bit more looser because when I put the pasta in there, Right now, we're going to add our pasta. Do you like that? Pasta added. We 
can actually turn that down. We'll turn it off. Get that residual heat going on. You gotta love that residual heat. And let's get it all mixed in. Just like that. Quick pasta. Can't get no easier. Can't get no easier. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice and creamy. You got your chickpeas, you got your, your greens. Can't get no easier, can't get no better. And we done. Let me just give it a little taste. I just want to make sure my seasoning is still on point after adding all that milk. I think I need to hit it. I need to go. Get some, some more salt. I can taste that, that, that cayenne. It's still spicy. I think I just need some salt. That's it. Ready to get that thing plated. Let's get it plated. Let's get it plated. Good like that. Good like that. We is done. Bam. Shazam! Let's get that thing plated. And this is what we looking like. Let's get in close and personal. Let's do it. Get these pictures. And this is what our chickpea, Cajun chickpea pasta is looking like. What do you think? How'd it look? Very creamy, I must say. Very creamy. We got that thing plated. Them bow ties, bow tying. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it from all angles. All right, let's get it tasted. All right, let's get this thing tasted. Got that creamy cashew cream sauce. Laying on the pasta just so right. Mmm. Bowtie pasta al dente. Creaming. I can taste that cayenne. You got that spice. And your smoky flavors with your smoked paprika, the cumin. Chickpeas are just the right texture. I really like this. Hmm, what's that? This is where you can really appreciate the texture of the chickpeas because they're not like soft and smushy like other beans. They hold their texture. 
You got your greens in there with your spinach. You got your protein with your chickpeas. Your carbs with your pasta. Complete meal. This is a, you already know, sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 